What's going on YouTube? It's Giga here and today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, series 12 by this point has been going on for a little while including the announcement and given everything I thought it would be fun to rank the restrictions, right? Um, we've all seen them, we've all encountered a bunch of them on the ladder so um, like times have obviously changed since people had their initial rankings so I thought it would be cool today, today in particular, to do a ranking of all of the series 12 restrictives. But we're not gonna rank them based on power. I think uh, enough people have done that already. Um, you can go find hundreds of videos on them. My thoughts on them, a little bit different, but that's fine. Uh, instead, we are going to rank the tw uh, restricteds based on how well I think they would win in a fight on Twitter. Um, so S tier is for those restricteds that not only are willing to start the fight themselves, but also they're definitely gonna win. So these are for the, the ultimate Twitter fighters. Um, similarly, as you start working your way down, C is where they're probably not going to start a fight, but they'll be willing to engage. And then F is just absolutely uh, not at all. So starting off with Mewtwo, uh, Mewtwo is definitely S rank. Like just look at this pose. You know that Mewtwo is willing to get in a fight with just about anyone on Twitter about anything and then use its supreme intellect to definitely like crush them. So um, we're starting things off strong. Next up, we do have Lugia. I'm gonna leave B. I mean, Lugia's smart. So the thing is like, I don't think Lugia will directly engage all the time, but I think when push comes to shove, like Lugia will say, hey, I'm gonna get in a fight on Twitter and you know, it's gonna use its mind powers to do really well. So yeah, Lugia, we're gonna leave it in B for, for now. We'll think about it and, and maybe adjust later. Uh, next up is ho -Oh. Ho, I'm gonna put it in the D tier. I think Ho can fight if it needs to, but uh, probably not going to. And I think you know that that's kind of a fine thing. Just like it's doing its thing, it, it's hanging out. Um, yeah, probably not much of a fighter. Hmm. Next up is Kyogre. So where where are we thinking for Kyogre? Kyogre right has a lot of different things going for it. It is a super strong restricted. It is in charge of the ocean. So like it, it has a lot of that going for it. Um, whales, how aggressive are whales? I don't know, let's Google that. How aggressive are whales? They're non-violent, okay. So they tend to be non-violent. We're gonna put it in the F tier, mainly for the thumbnail. Um, but yeah, I, don't, I think whales, you know, they're, they're very calm. Kyogre doesn't really have a need to do stuff um so i think it's gonna it's gonna sit in the f tier for now but groudon groudon is b i think groudon it, it has that like angry bully kind of look to it where it's gonna say yeah i'm gonna get in a fight with you um i don't think groudon is that smart maybe i'm stereotyping so as a result i think it's like gonna engage and start a lot of fights but i don't think groudon has the wherewithal to to finish them and you know like that's really important it's not about just being willing to start fights it's about how well you do during them which is why Mewtwo is up here, but Groudon is down here. Uh, Rayquaza, Rayquaza, I'm gonna put an A. I think Rayquaza definitely, like, you know, as the the like space guardian is definitely willing to um, start some fights. It definitely looks like it has those thumbs ready to, to type out some aggressive tweets. So I'm gonna say we're gonna put Rayquaza up in the A tier. Uh, just a, a really solid aggressive fighter, but yeah, we'll leave it at that. Okay, so Dialga is next. Where are we thinking for Dialga? Um, I'm gonna put both Dialga and Palkia in the C tier. I think that they're like, they'll engage if they have to. They kind of just do their own thing. Um, they are powerful in their own right, but like they're they're gonna say, we don't really wanna engage with this. So um, I think a, a solid C tier. So next up, uh, we have Giratina. So two different forms. I think origin form, definitely S tier. I think it's below Mewtwo. Uh, it has been in the distortion world, just thinking of all sorts of responses to any sort of interaction. And I think when you're living in a constant nightmare, like that's the perfect environment for Twitter. Um, I think the distortion world is just a manifestation of Twitter. Uh, and it, it definitely, you know, is at the ready, being the owner of that, being able to, to fight back. So you know what, we're gonna actually put uh, Giratina, oh, we're gonna put Giratina above Mewtwo. Nope, we're gonna move Mewtwo back. Uh, Giratina definitely going to be uh, S tier for 
for us for sure. Giratina, just the normal one, unless the other one is the origin form, I forget. Um, we're going to put it also in S tier. I think for, for similar reasons uh, above, I think Mewtwo having that superior intellect, like really going to put it above because like, yes, this Giratina is also in the distortion world and is the ruler, but this one, like origin form is just channeling that energy. Whereas this one is, is just, it's there, it's existing. Um, so it has a, that, that like ability to fight, but not as well as the origin form. Uh, so next up we have Reshiram. Hmm. Reshiram. This is an interesting one. Um, I don't see Reshiram starting too many fights. I don't see it engaging. Uh, I think it'll like respond occasionally to things, but it's not def it's definitely not going to to like let drama continue. It's going to say, "Hey, you know, there's a fight, but we're we're going to let it rock." Um Zekrom This is interesting. Um I'm going to put Zekrom in in C tier. Just because I feel like Zekrom, actually, I'm going to put Zekrom front of C tier. We'll put Dialga back here. I think Zekrom like has that sort of mysterious look of, I don't want to engage, but I also do. Uh, very much like Sternum from Moody's Point, for any of you that get that reference, where he's not going to like start a fight, but like he, he might engage to try and like quell some feelings and, and keep people calm. Um, let's skip over to base Kurum. Base Kurum is, is definitely A tier. Uh, I mean, look at this thing. It says, I'm going to get in a fight with you for Twitter. I, I think it, it suffers from the same problem as Groudon, where I don't expect it to like have the, the ability to continually maintain these fights. But I think I kind of feel bad for Kurum, and I feel like it has a lot of like, uh, what's it called? It, 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 feel, it has a victim complex. Whereas Groudon like doesn't. So I think that the victim complex of base Kyurem, definitely going to put it in the A tier. Uh, so similarly, Kyurem White. I think I'm going to put Kyurem White and Kyurem Black in the A tier. Definitely below uh, base Kyurem because now it's like, hey, you took that victim complex and now you gave it like a superiority complex. So in that regard, uh, I'm going to actually put them at the, the head of the, the tier. Right, you're saying, hey, I have this victim complex. I feel bad about myself, but now, like, I'm the victim that became super incredible, right? Like, I have these huge, incredible forms now. Look at me. I absorbed others. And it's just, I feel like because of that, it's willing to fight. It's willing to say, hey, it's willing to start fights and it's willing to, like, push them through. I don't think quite at the level of S tier, but definitely, you know, willing to, to step up and put its money where its mouth is. Um, Xerneas. Let's think about this. Hmm. So Xerneas, I feel like a, a, another calm one, right? It like lives in the forest. So I'm going to put Xerneas, yeah, down in, in the F tier. I can't really see it it fighting. I feel like it, it just wants to like chill and, and do Xerneas things. Um, Yveltal. I feel like a lot of people want Yveltal up top. But I'm going to put Yveltal actually kind of towards the bottom. Like, I know it, it is, like, the, the manifestation of death. But, like, I feel like Yveltal, I can't really see. It gets, I mean, it gets in fights with Xerneas. Mm, I'm going to put Xerneas in D tier as well. I think because these two fight, it's kind of hard. I mean, I guess Kyogre, I mean, Kyogre got enraged to fight. Whereas, like, I feel like both of these are, are very just sort of calm. Um, Yveltal unfortunately has a little bit more stigma towards it, but I don't see it like getting angry at people. I think it just has a job of killing people and it, it just does that. Um, Zygarde 10%, it's a dog. Dogs don't get in fights. Dogs are, are wholesome. Um, we love them for that reason. Uh, big Zygarde. Big Zygarde. I'm thinking B, right? Uh, this is also like a superiority complex. Like, look at me, I'm huge. Like, you can tell that this Zygarde goes to the gym and, and kind of has that uh, meathead complexion. So definitely I can see see the, the willingness to fight. I don't necessarily know if it has the ability to, to like take it home or like even remember all the fights it's in, but I can definitely see um, Zygarde doing that. 
base Zygarde or 50% Zygarde. I'm going to put it F tier as well. Um, I mean, like, it just it hangs out and it, it does its thing. We haven't really seen it be enraged unless it is in the anime, which I don't watch. Um, but it's just like you find it in a cave, just like chilling. And, and Zygarde doesn't really do too much and it never really got its time to shine. So I feel like, it, you know, it'll, it'll just hang out. Um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, so Cosmog. Cosmog, I think, yeah, it's gonna, I think Cosmog is like head of the, oh, there's no way to, yeah. Cosmog is like head of the F tier, right? Like it's, it's not gonna fight you. It's just, it's just happy to be here. It's happy to be alive with its little ball. It's coming out of it. And it just, like, it's not gonna fight anyone. It's just, it's gonna apologize if anything. Like it's, it's very cute. Uh, Cosmo M. I think it's just asleep. So like it's it it's not gonna use Twitter. Cosmo, I can't see even using Twitter to if we're gonna be real here. Um yeah, it's just asleep. Like, can we let's add a, a tier? Um add row below, and we're gonna edit this tier for new. Can we just rename this? Doesn't use Twitter. Yeah, I can't see um Cosmo I'm using Twitter. So yeah, next up we have Solgaleo. So Solgaleo, where do I want this? I think Solgaleo is like A tier. Like it's a proud lion. So if you come after Solgaleo, uh, we'll put it in B tier, right? Like Solgaleo is a proud lion. If you come after it, it's going to respond because it feels like it needs to. I don't necessarily think it's going to start a ton of fights unless someone is like criticizing it. Uh, so I think... Like, it'll look to check on itself, to check its ego every once in a while, and then respond occasionally. But uh, I don't think it, it is necessarily the greatest fighter, or definitely does not compare to uh, Giratina up here in S tier. So next up, we have Lunala. What are my thoughts about Lunala? Hmm. I don't know. Lunala is the Pokemon of the night, which is also another Twitter-based time. So in that regard, I'm going to put Lunala in A tier, right? Like you think of the night and, and like the darkness and you think of Twitter. Uh, so I feel like Lunala like really channels that like fighting time Twitter energy. So we're going to put it up in the A tier. Uh, I think by its existence, it, it's doing this. So it's, it's going to be lower than some of these that have the, these boosts, if you will. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to stick Lunala up in the A tier. Next, next up, we have Necrozma uh, Duskmane. So I think, what? I think, similar to uh, Solgaleo, I'm going to put it head of the B tier, or the C tier. I don't think it, it has quite the, the what's it called? The energy or fervor of Solgaleo, if you will. But it definitely is, it like isn't going to engage too much, but it, it has to if it needs to. So it's not looking for trouble, but it's willing to, to put up with it if it sees it. Uh, Lunala, once again, or the other Necrozma, we're going to put it up here. Similar reasons as before. Um, I think this one is, is slightly cooler, so there is that. Next up, we have Necrozma. So Necrozma is like an alien. So, I mean, it, absor it absorbs the energy of others. Like, that, that screams S tier, right? Like... You're saying, hey, I'm going to absorb the living light. Like that is that is the feeling you get when you're on Twitter. Like your your soul is being sucked out of you. Um, and so for channeling exactly what Twitter is about, we're going to put Necrozma base form in S tier. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it like this. I think Mewtwo definitely is still better than Giratina. Uh, Necrozma definitely has its place in S tier. Next up is Zacian. This is interesting. Hmm. So what do we think about the the strongest Pokemon ever created? Do we think it deserves what ranking do we think it deserves? Hmm. I'm gonna say head of the B tier, right? I feel like it has that same arrogance we've seen from the rest of the B tier of saying, like, oh, look at me, look at how great I am. Um, so I think it it definitely carries that. I don't think that. Uh, it definitely competes with the A tiers because it like it only has that superiority complex. It doesn't have like a victim complex. It doesn't have that combination. It doesn't have the entitlement that I feel like Rayquaza has. Um, and then 
just channeling the the negativity of existence itself so or the nighttime itself with lunala so we're gonna we're gonna leave it in the b tier um base sashian probably the same yeah put it at the um i think base sashian is a good dog we'll leave it with the other the other doggo uh i think yeah it's 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 a base form it's wholesome i think we can put zamazenta there as well uh zamazenta but like dauntless shield zamazenta i think yeah for the same reasons we saw uh zashian we're gonna put zamazenta there as well i think it, it, it does carry a lot of that that similar energy right like look at me i'm regal and and great so we're gonna we're gonna leave it there uh eternatus so eternatus is an interesting one it like channels a lot of energy so i don't know i feel like i feel like it has too much energy to to be using twitter right like I feel it, yeah. It, it it just it has energy which you don't see on Twitter at all, and so we're gonna we're gonna leave it on the that doesn't use Twitter tier. Um, next up we have Calyrex. So I feel like all three forms of Calyrex are in the same place, right? Like there's not much difference. It's like oh I'm I'm riding a horse, but like does that horse actually matter? I don't think so. Um, I think I think I have to put it in in A tier. Right, it it does have that. We talked about this similarly with Kiram, where it has like that superiority complex, like oh, I'm the the king of the harvest, but also like people have forgot about me. So you have that that inferiority complex. So probably like up here, we're gonna put it here. I think we also put the the horses in this tier as well, but they are gonna be a little bit higher just because of the fact that we do talk about like now you have the superiority the the superiority complex a little bit stronger because you do have your horses back. Um. Yeah, we'll do it like that. So these are the rankings. I'm just trying to think of, do I think anything can be rearranged? I think the S tier is, is good as is. I do stand by Mewtwo being uh, higher than Giratina at this form. Uh, a tier, yeah, we're seeing that complex makes sense. <sighs> Rayquaza, uh, I am a little ambivalent about Rayquaza. I'm gonna move Rayquaza down a tier. I feel like it, it just wants to, to chill. Uh, it has a job to do and it's, it, it does its job. So we'll, we'll chill with Rayquaza there. Uh, yep, we have the superiority complex. Groudon, definitely a bully. Zygarde, definitely a bully. Proud, intellect, not to the, the super extent, but a little bit overly emotional. Uh, C tier, these are all chill. Yeah, I can see Necrozma. Um, just if it needs to get in a fight, it gets in a fight. Um, Zekrom, similarly, Palkia, Dialga. They're, I feel like they're just doing their thing. Uh, Ho-Oh, D tier, I agree with that. I mean, I, I made this list. I think the D tier makes sense. F tier, yeah, I can't see uh, Cosmog hurting anyone. It's a dog, it's a dog, it's a dog, chilling in a cave. These two definitely don't use Twitter. Uh, so this is definitely my ranking. Feel free to let me know your uh, thoughts in the comments below and uh, happy April Fool's Day. And until next time, I hope all of you are wonderful and I'll see you then.